warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning viewers I'm Julia Augustina Today, on Tuesday, 10 November 2020 Have a greeting with us in Good Morning News Which will provide you to the, to the real news And which is taken factually and actually Either in international and national I will convey you about 5 minutes with many kind of information. Well, let's begin this news today. Yes, air pollution like to 15% of coronavirus deaths. Study. Long-term exposure to air pollution may be linked to 15% of COVID-19 deaths globally. According to research published today that highlight the health risk was by greenhouse gas emission. Previous research has shown how air pollution from exhaust fumes and factories takes two years of the life expectancy of every man, woman and child on earth. Now experts in Germany and Cyprus say they have estimated the proportion of death from coronavirus that can be blamed of the exacerbating effect of air pollution. Their study published in the journal Cardiovascular Research Trail on Health and Disease Data from the US and China relating to air pollution, COVID-19 and SISR a series long disease similar to COVID. They combined this with satellite data of global exposure to particulate matter, microscopic particles, as well as ground bus pollution monitoring network to calculate to what, e to what extent air pollution can be blamed for COVID-19 death. In East Asia, which has some of the highest level of harmful pollution of the planet. The author found that 27% of COVID-19 that could be attributed the, to the health effect of poor air quality in in Europe. The Proportion was 90% compared with 70% in North America. If what long, if what long term exposure to air pollution and infection with the COVID-19 virus come together, then we have an undeserved effect on health, particularly with receptors to the, he the heart and blood vessels, said Pepper, CEO author Thomas Manzo. He said that air pollution made no COVID-19 risk factors such as lung and heart problems more likely. As the world battles the coronavirus pandemic, the scientific knowledge on the virus is evolving each day. In the latest development, according to research highlighting the health risks posed by greenhouse gas emissions, long-term exposure to air pollution may be linked to 15% of the COVID-19 deaths globally. Previous research has showed that how air pollution from exhaust fumes and factories takes two years of the life expectancy of every man, woman and child on Earth. The study published in the journal Cardiovascular Research drew on health and disease data from the US and China relating to air pollution. In East Asia, which has some of the highest levels of harmful pollution on the planet, the authors found that 27% of the COVID-19 deaths could be attributed to the health effects of poor air quality. In Europe, the proportion was 19% compared with 17% in North America. The authors stressed that attributing COVID-19 deaths to air pollution did not mean that pollution itself was killing people with COVID, though they didn't rule out such a cause-effect linkage. The authors estimated that more than 6,100 COVID deaths in Britain could be attributed to air pollution. In the US, that figure is around 40,000. Without a fundamental change in how cities run themselves, 
air pollution would continue to kill huge numbers of people even after the pandemic comes to an end. Stroke, they didn't rule out such a cause effect linkage. Just a just lily felt of the Max Planck Institute for Chemistry called AVP that the research suggested. The pollution particles are a CO factor in aggravating diseases. He said their estimate suggestion suggests that more than than 6,100 COVID deaths in Britain could be attributed to air pollution. In the US, this figure is around 14,000. The author said the without uh, energy of fundamental change in how cities power the mass left including a transition to clean and re renewable energy searches air pollution will see on continue to kill hog numbers of people even after the pandemic reset the pandemic and with the Fascination of the population of with heart immunity drug extends intervention of the population. They wrote. However, there are not vaccines vaccine against for air quality and climate change. The remedy is to mitigate emissions. And that was the news today. Finally, I'm in all view of Good Morning News. Say have a wonderful day. See you next time and goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.